hey guys welcome to the channel in this video I'm going to show you how to extract fields from data from through conf files or the configuration files in Splunk so in Splunk I'm having this data and uh, these are the ex default extracted fields and I want to extract some more fields so let's take an example so I have product ID as this and the last three digits of the product ID describes the product type so I can simply go to extract fields and extract from the GUI uh, in Splunk so uh, I can simply go there and write product type but uh, what, what use case we have to follow is that we cannot use the GUI we, we, we want to do it from the conf files and also we want uh, to write our own regex so uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to regex101.com so those people who don't know how to write regular expressions or regex in Splunk so you can go and watch my video I have made it it's very simple covers all the basics so guys we are going to extract this one so let's write a regular expression for this okay beginning of a line and uh, okay copy then do anything last hash then capture this guys this is very simple you can just simply go to the video which i have made earlier and you can watch it you can subscribe more to my channel if you want such videos every week okay so it seems pretty good that we have created uh, our own regex because Splunk sometimes really messes up uh, writing its own regex so before using this we need to go to our Splunk folder edc users admin i'm making it a uh, owner specific so i'm going to search local and then there, there is a props.conf already existing because i have extracted some field before also if it's not there you can create one okay so guys uh, this will be at owner specific that's why and also we don't need to restart splunk at all so I open it and in props.com you can see there's a already extracted field Mac version in access combined cookie source type so guys what we are going to do is to understand that uh, the source type is written in this uh, stanza in which we write this attribute of extract field name so you can create your own source type and write the ex, uh, ex, uh, attribute so I need to edit this one only so I'm going to write extract and my field name product type remember that guys in the Splunk we don't need to restart every time it's oh shit. Uh, it's required because uh, it will be a waste of time and this is going to save a lot of effort okay so let's test before we test let's see that there is only product IDM punct in P there is no product type let's do the search again it might take some it might take a while okay now here's the product type which is showing perfectly and among these product types you can go and table it so guys as you can see I didn't restart the Splunk or anything I didn't waste the time or oh, sorry it's product type so guys you can see it's working very fine and uh, this trick really helps me at testing level because it's very necessary to stop wasting time and do quickly everything however it is not preferred in production environment because we need to make sure the regex is working fine and uh, also guys if you want any more videos on Splunk please do comment down below I can look into it and I can create uh, some videos for you Keep supporting, keep subscribing, have a nice day.